let's go. <laughs> that was so upsetting! <laughs> yeah, it was. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you direct your attention to the 50-yard line. Tonight at Pickerington High School North, we are helping our friends from Grove City in a special Welcome Home celebration. Returning from his third deployment in the Middle East is Staff Sergeant Raymond Kramer of the 718th Army Reserve Unit out of Rickenbacker. Staff Sergeant Kramer arrived today. His return home in attendance here this evening is a complete surprise to his daughter and Grove City Band member, Sky Kramer. Please join us in welcoming Sergeant Kramer back to Columbus and thanking him for his service to this great country. He said that. I got in last night. I wanted to surprise you. Well, you sure did. <laughs> Where's your mother? I somewhere under. I think she was. She blow dry in her hair. Look. Well, don't come up good to but <laughs> A handshake won't get it, buddy. Bless your heart. I am thrilled to death to see you. Gosh, you're good looking, right? Now. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. Thank you very much. It's been a couple months. <laughs> yes, it has. But it's almost five, isn't it? Yeah, it's been almost five months. Well, 20 weeks. Yeah. Quite work out calendar. Well, I sure weeks. didn't expect to see you walk in here. <laughs> wow, this is a surprise. Golly, I'm sick. Thrill to death. <laughs> I thought you were going to have your graduation today. Nope, I had that Wednesday. Well, did, uh, uh, What's your name? Teresa. Teresa, did you get there? Yeah. Oh, crazy. You got there, yep. 
Well, you're out. For a while. <laughs> yes, I am. I have a question for you. Yes, sir. <clears throat> this reserve unit you're in up here, what kind of reserve is it? Infantry to engineers? or? I think it's just an engineer company. I don't know the details. I don't know if it's heavy equipment. I don't know if it's combat engineers. I don't know the details. I've been trying to call them because I need to get with them in the next 72 hours yeah. and give them my paperwork. Yeah. And they're not answering their phone. I don't know. So I'm trying to get all that figured out, but I don't So we're here to welcome home Kandero from uh, Afghanistan. Yeah, has a sign. The kids don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm going to sit you guys down for a little snack. You guys want a snack? Here, Ernest. Here, go sit at your table so I can get you guys a snack. They're just chilling. You know, it's girls' night. Don't worry about them. Here, you guys sit down right here. Uh-oh, it's going off. What's going on? How you guys sit down? <gasps> Who's what is that? Who's calling you guys? Look. Look. Here, let's sit you guys walks toward her daughter's classroom with the aid of a crutch following a recent accident when she broke several toes. But that injury couldn't slow her down on this day. Daughter Kaylee Donaldson, this week's star student, got to have Daddy be today's royal reader for her kindergarten class. Both are about to be happily surprised. <laughs> Kaylee runs to Mama's arms for some love as her classmates and teachers cheer. Mission accomplished. Daddy and daughter were certainly surprised. Mommy was a big surprise, huh? Were we worried? You were worried about mommy? You were a star student? High five! Soon the happiness of this 9-11 military homecoming spills into the hallways. The Air Force veteran and her family are showered with thanks and praise and welcome home cards. Oh, I'm overwhelmed right now. I am. <laughs> been away for seven months and being able to touch her and my husband is awesome. I couldn't be more blessed right now. Her normally outgoing kindergartner seems a little overwhelmed by all this attention, but she's certainly happy mom's back home. I like mommy when she comes home. Were you surprised? It was very difficult, especially whenever Kelly miss her and she wants her mom and there's nothing I can do for her just to comfort her and uh, yeah, show her mom and be home real soon. That homecoming is on 9-11, which just happens to be the seventh anniversary of Kay Ann Wright joining the Air Force. We appreciate them every day, but when we have the opportunity to participate in a homecoming, it just kind of brings it home how much we do appreciate what they do for our country. In Biloxi, Steve Phillips, WLOX News. Finally tonight, it took a lot of planning and a trip halfway across the world, but the hardest part was keeping this Mother's Day surprise a secret. How one serviceman pulled it off, and boy, was mom surprised. The tears started falling just after mom Dina Entz hit the field at halftime of this Houston Dynamo soccer game. 
She thought this video from her son Andrew, an airman based overseas, was her Mother's Day gift. But the real gift was running up behind her. The United States Air Force Staff Sergeant Andrew In. I had no idea. This has got to be the best Mother's Day present ever. It was priceless. It was like a moment I'll never forget. Uh, just seeing her, uh, her face and uh, the look and the expression on her face and how, how excited she was. Andrew is based in South Korea and hasn't been home in eight months. So being here today for Mother's Day and for church with his parents and sister is special. We weren't expecting him to come home until uh, December. Across the country, service members surprising their moms. State Sergeant James has just returned from Afghanistan to be Staff Sergeant Marquita James surprised her mother, a single mom of two, who was about to receive a master's degree from Brunel University in Georgia. Back in Houston, the Enses are making the most of Andrew's surprise visit. Brunch with extended family, particularly sweet since Andrew has rarely made it home in the past five years. Andrew and his mom get three weeks together this time, a visit the two will now never forget. It's been hard, but you know, I know that Andrew is in a good place. I miss him tremendously, but I know he's happy doing what he's doing, serving our country and protecting our freedom. And from everyone here at ABC News, a big hug to all the moms out there. GMA first thing in the morning, and David Muir is right back here tomorrow night. I'm Tom Yamas in New York. Have a great evening. Good night. It's a story that's sure to put a smile on your face. A little boy gets a big surprise. Nicole Grigg reports on the day an Oakwood family will never forget. Air Force Major Dave Pritchard has seen a lot of devastation the past year while serving in Afghanistan. But today is a day of joy and one he's been waiting for for a long time. It takes his 11-year-old son, Shane, a few seconds to even realize. <laughs> An embrace both father and son never want to end. Man, I miss you. A lot sure changes in a year. You are so tall. Especially baby Claire, now six months old. She thought that her dad lives in the computer. In Afghanistan, Major Pritchard helped make routes safe for soldiers on the ground. He's now back safe on American soil. Being gone from uh, the United States really teaches you how awesome this country is and um, you know what great lengths that some people will do to uh, to defend it. His wife Sarah and friends at the Kettering YMCA planned this special surprise just for Shane. You got good swimming flippers. Shane has spent a lot of time in this pool while his father was away. He can't wait to tell dad what he's missed. Best race these days. The 50 backstroke. 50 backstroke. I've been pretty tough, but I'm proud of him for doing it. Shane has always kept his dad close to his heart, but now he's even closer, and for these few seconds, it's just father and son. Nicole Gregg, Fox 45 News.